Thank you so much, Investor Inspiration, for having me here uh, today uh, to present. And uh, today I will be talking about how you can generate a six-figure income day trading futures only two hours a day. For those of you that know me, this is what I do. This is what I have been doing for a very long time. And I, I day trade futures and I swing trade stocks and I literally trade only two hours a day. So um, here's our agenda for today and here's what I have um, prepared for you guys today. So first of all, we're gonna talk about how you can create a steady income by trading only two hours a day. Because for some people, it seems a little bit unrealistic, but I will be showing and I'll be sharing with you why these two hours per day are very, very important, but not limited to these two hours a day. For those of you that don't have the precise time, let's say for the morning. Uh, also, how we double our trading account in two months. I'm going to show you real results from uh, from our trading, uh, from from our day to day trading, from a trading service, and uh, I'll show you how quickly and accurately you can predict the next market reaction based on technical analysis. Also, show you how to leverage uh, your advantage to trading futures and literally why it is important to trade only two hours a day to be focused and not only that i'm going to share with you more about how uh, i trade those two hours a day and the reason behind those two hours a day and why i have selected those precise two hours within the 24-hour market which is literally the futures market and why you only need to trade only six symbols all right, this is all I trade. This is all I have on my computer, these six symbols. And those are keeping me super focused and in check. And I always know what's happening in the market. I always know what to pick in the market based on relative strength or relative weakness. I know whether to trade or not to trade on that particular day. And for a day like today, let me share with you one thing. No trades for me today. So I don't trade a lot. I'm not a compulsive trader. I'm going to share with you how many trades I usually take a day. Um, and all in all, I only take like between one and three trades within the three within the two hour range. So that's not a lot of trades. So that keeps me focused. It gives me the ability to manage the trades correctly. And it gives me the ability to build on profits because literally when, when it comes to trading futures, trading less is actually trading more. And why you need to learn a consistent, successful, proven institutional method that will generate you a six-figure income. So thank you, Renee, for the presentation. I just want to add one more thing. I've been a professional trader focused on equities and futures for the last 14 years. And prior to that, I have been an investment banker for more than 10 years. So I do have the financial background and have been doing this for a very, very long time. I'm also the CEO and founder of TradeOutLoud.com, which is a trading education firm specialized in educating individuals how to day trade and swing trade and also actively invest the futures market and the equities market. And I take traders from all walks of life and from all kinds of levels, from beginner level all the way to advanced level that want to tweak their strategies. I also run a managed accounts program. And what that means is that I do trade other people's funds. And I'm also the designer of an institutional proprietary trading system that is based on price support resistance, which is much more than what meets the eye, it's more than supply and demand, the classic support resistance level. There are actually seven layers of support resistance. Uh, these are correlated with specific trigger times. So I watch throughout the market. So from when the market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, I trade the New York session open. Like I said, I'm not limited to that specific time, but that is my sweet spot in the market. I'm going to share with you today why I have chosen that particular uh, point in time to trade. And I also have these specific trigger times. And if you have, if you are not an institutional trader, you have no way of knowing where these, uh, where these uh, times are triggering. Keep in mind that 80, over 80% 80 of the market volume is generated by algos. So you have to trade in sync with the algos and you want to know the levels and the trigger times for these specific algos when they go off. And my trading method is about capturing these momentum, strong momentum moves that happen throughout the morning session. They also happen um, uh, throughout the New York session. They, ha they, are, they have specific times that happen throughout the morning, throughout the evening. 
a doldrum period and throughout the afternoon hours, but not limited like I've mentioned before. So if you're a European trader, we have trading strategies that are adapted for the European session. And also we have strategies for the Asian session. We have specific price zones. There are four specific price zones that institutional traders act upon. So these are in strict correlation the time zones and the trigger price. Also, chart synchronicity. Why is chart synchronicity so important? Well, when you take a look at the chart, uh, or at the charts per se, because I mentioned before that I only watch six charts, I'm gonna share with you exactly what I trade today that makes me so successful in trading. Um, and I'm also gonna be sharing with you results, right? Real results from, uh, from my trading accounts. And um, also, it is very important to know how to synchronize your charts. Sometimes in the market, you have divergence. Now, what is market divergence? Market divergence is when, let's say, an indice is going higher and you have another indice that is holding or it's going higher. For instance, a day like today, for those of you that are futures traders here, you've probably noticed that uh, the m and &E Dow has been has had some relative weakness to it today because it was like bleeding slightly. I, by the uh, last time I checked, it was like 11 points down, so it's totally insignificant, but it was lower. While NASDAQ was holding stronger, and NASDAQ, as you know, you know, it, uh, th th we had uh, we had a lot of powerful earnings like Amazon and Google that happened last night, and those are market movers for these indices as well. And uh, those actually uh, enabled NASDAQ to remain super powerful and holding certain support levels. And it was actually basing at one of these specific price zones that I am talking about right here, the Pacific price zone. So uh, it is a certain point in price where you're gonna see these mini stabilize, where you need to buy them or where you need to uh, trail out of them or you need to set targets. So very, very specific. I have a very specific system. Uh, chart synchronicity, like I said, you have to pay attention to divergence in the market. I really don't like to trade divergence in the market. And when the markets are divergent, they're very hard to read and to predict. Um, and also there, you have to watch for synchronicity in the market. You want to watch for power in the market. You want to watch for power trends because one indice is going to carry the other uh, higher or lower. Also, I have, I'm the creator of a strict set of trading rules that enables myself and my traders to find trades with ease. And not only that, but to know when to sit on our hands and not to trade. And for, for instance, in a day like today. Um, and a 10 point scoring system, a 10 point scoring system that enables us not only to find trades with ease, but has a, we have a game plan, uh, we have a damage control plan, and we know how to trail, how, where to enter, where to exit, where to place the stop. So we literally place our trades on autopilot. It's nothing impulsive. We uh, we measure the trades before we get in the trade. We always use limit orders, never market orders. We not we don't just jump in the market. We know the precise areas where we want to get that that specific indice or commodity. We know exactly where to place the stop. We know how to calculate the exact targets, and we know how to trail. So we don't leave anything to chance. We don't leave anything um, to question. All right, so what does everybody want? Okay, what does everybody want in here, including myself? We want a consistent stream of income and trading is my consistent stream of income. All right, so the bottom line is that we wanna work less and make more. So how can we get, how can we achieve that? How can we make that happen? And literally when I tell you trading less is actually making more, and I'm not talking about only commission based because commission and commissions and futures are definitely less than half than what you would pay for trading stocks. But that's a different advantage that we will talk a little bit later on today. Uh, but de definitely when it comes to trading, everybody wants to create an income because that's the main purpose. But what are your goals? Whether you want to work less 
So you want to dedicate more time to yourself, to your family. You want to dedicate more time to, um, you know, spending time on vacations or whatever it is that you want, or, or you have a special hobby that you want to, uh, to dedicate time to. And definitely, you want to work more efficiently. And you want to work. Literally, my work, uh, my work week is consists in only ten hours, and that's only ten concentrated hours, and that's my focal point. And guess what? It works because I trade less. I actually make more because I'm more focused. I don't take eight hours a day to trade. I'm only focused in the morning. You can choose your own trading segment. It can be in the London session. It can be, um, and you know, if it was for me, you know, and if I would live in Europe, back in Europe again, I would definitely trade the London session. It's one of the most active session that I love. I, you know, European traders are so fortunate to take advantage of the European uh, of the European market and the London Open, and um, whether you uh, want to commute, one of the reasons why. And I was trading. I, I was doing what I'm doing right now. Is doing it professionally. And one of the reasons why I've decided, and I really wanted to take a step back, is because I didn't want to commute anymore. It would it would take me literally three hours a day to commute, an hour and a half to work, and an hour and a half back. So it is literally three hours of my day gone out the window. So whether you want to create the income, you know, to pay off the debt, you know, you want to pay off. Your credit card. You want to pay off your mortgage. You want to pay off everything and be in the green, be in the black. You don't want to owe anything anymore. This is a great way to create that supplemental income. This is a great way to create income and also a great way to build your retirement account because it all, it, it all in all, it's coming to that retirement account. You want to build it up. You want to have a really nice size retirement account so you can do whatever you want. But the main purpose of trading futures is not only to build up that retirement account and, you know, kind of like dream about what you would do when you're going to be 65. Is how I can achieve what I want to achieve now in the present. And this was one of the reasons why why I was drawn to trading futures. And one of the reasons because I was a stock trader. I was a stock trader, and I have been a stock trader for most of my life. Uh, and I switched completely to futures trading about um, 12 years ago. Um, also, you want to earn a living, okay? And and like I've mentioned before, you want to live now, okay? One of my biggest dreams because I loved, I and I still love to, um, uh, you know, to to to. I'm I'm a beach person. I love the summer. One of my main uh, objectives was to move to Florida. And right now I'm training Florida. In fact, in front of me, I wish I have a video camera to show you guys. I'm training in front of palm trees and um, um, at the beach, and it's fabulous. It's, it is what I have always been dreaming about. Um, so whether you want to work from home or you want to achieve all of these goals that uh, we have talked until now, trading has a limited potential, and you have no boss. But it does have an unlimited potential. But guess what, guys? You have to know exactly what you're doing in order to be successful. So how are you going to get there? Obviously, trading futures, and I'm going to share with you some of the advantages of trading futures. This is an industry where you can profit from any market condition. Bull market, you make money. Bear market, you make money. It doesn't matter whether it's a recession, whether it's a bubble. It really doesn't matter. You can take a position for long. You can take a position for short, super easily. You know, and even in the recession period, guess what, guys? You make money with ease. Remember back in 2007 when the market was dropping. Back in 2008 when the market was dropping, dropping, dropping. Look at the bars. Go back on the chart and look at the bars. This look at the size of those daily bars. Those are shorting opportunities. You can make money literally um, uh, in a faster pace. Uh, shorting the market, then going along the market. So you are making money in the recession period, in a sell period, e more easily than in a bull market. In a bull market, like a market like today, like this year or last year or three years ago, it's a little tougher because you've got to wait for the pullback and you want to trade with the uh, with the uh, in the direction of the trend because we are trend followers. You want to be on the safe side of the trend, especially with these algos. So trading, I want to make you guys understand, trading is not a job. It will become a lifestyle. It will become your hobby. You could travel. 
and still trade. For those of you that are in this room right now and do know me, you know that I do travel uh, and I meet a lot of you guys when, uh, when I'm traveling throughout the country. Uh, and you know that I'm traveling with my, I have a trading uh, laptop and I have three portable monitors that I travel with. And it only takes me from 9.30 to about 11 o'clock to trade. I monitor my trades. If I take a trade, if I see some price action happening in the market, I take a trade. If I don't see anything happening happen in the market, then I don't take the trade. So trading is not a, a, a job per se. It's a lifestyle and it's a career change. And it is literally something that uh, is not going to be a burden for you. It's going to be a pleasure. It's going to be a pleasure uh, to uh, come in from the computer. You are going to literally transform your personal computer or your laptop into your personal ATM machine. So one of the reasons why a lot of people lose in trading is that they have no training. And especially with the presence of a lot of algorithms that are out there, you, if you don't have any trading and if you don't know the trigger times, if you don't know the precise price levels, you are not going to get anywhere. You're going to get whipped around. You're going to be taken out of the trades. Even with the low commissions, you're going to be probably trade three to eight of the three to six or eight trades a day and you're going to be racking up a lot of losses not only losses from your trading but also those commissions even low they're going to start racking up so you need to have the knowledge you need to have a good trading system you need to have the discipline and you need to have the patience to get where you want to be if you don't have the experience you're not going to get there and this is where my company offers you personal assistance. So all this, all my students have personal access to me. How important it is to have access to someone that is trading live for a living that uh, is available for you close to 24 seven. I usually answer emails that pop up in my email or call um, whether it is Skype or whether it is on the phone or whether it is via Twitter. Um, I always answer my clients right away because guess what? Money never sleeps. And not only that, but your questions are very important because when it comes to your money, you don't want to risk anything. So you get my undivided support. So why do I trade futures? Most of you in here probably are trading futures or got their feet wet in futures, or maybe some of you are very new to futures and there are stock, you guys are stock traders. Perhaps you're waiting for the next person to come on to talk about stocks. And guess what? You landed here to, with me talking about futures. Well, here's why, and take it from me. I have been a stock trader for most of my career. Um, so why do I day trade futures? First of all, it's a 24 hour market. Well, close to a 20, 24 hour market because from 4.15 to about six o'clock, the market is gonna be on and off for about an hour and 45 minutes. And that is like the close period. And then it opens again at 6 p.m. Eastern time. But here's why I love it because it's a 24 hour market, you can literally trade six days a week. You start the week on Sunday night. I always watch the market on Sunday night to see how it's, uh, how it's opening and how it is trading. And I literally want to see what the opening tick is. I want to see what the European mar market is, I'm sorry, what the Asian market is doing. I want to see what the European markets are doing. Guess what? Because with the geopolitical context that is going on right now, you want to see what's going on. Remember the gap up in the market on Monday? Well, that was due to French election. Now we're gonna talk about that in the next slide and the opportunities that we had over there. But literally, it's a 24 hour market and the reason why I choose to trade between nine and 11 o'clock is because that is the sweet spot. What is the sweet spot? Well, the London session is overlapping the New York session. So guess what? You have the volatility from both the London session and the New York session. So you have a lot of volume that is coming into the market. You're having a lot of activity. And that's why I choose these, this sweet spot because you can make money fast. Okay, well, you're gonna say, oh yeah, but you know what? You can lose money fast. That's not entirely correct if you're well educated. You cannot lose a lot of money if you're educated. Do I have losing trades? Yes, I do. And I'm very honest and I'm gonna share with you guys some of the trades that I did, winning trades, losing trades, and you're gonna see, I have a total 100% transparent track record. Transparent track record from January 1st, because we're talking about this year of trading, and I'm gonna share, share with you um, um, a small account challenge that I have going out right now. Um, and you're going to be able to see the results. 
okay so literally it's a 24 hour market so guess what if you're living in Europe you can start trading at 3 a.m. Eastern 3 a.m. Eastern time it's for you guys it's gonna be 8 a.m. Eastern time for those of you guys that are residing in UK so you have the advantage of the overlap of the Tokyo of the Asian market so you have the overlap of the Asian market one hour into the open an hour and one hour and a half into the open and that's also the driver for your London session Asian session is a little slower and you're gonna say you know sometimes there's not a lot of activity in the Asian session you're wrong because there's a lot of activity into the London session uh, into the Asian session there's a lot of activity and especially if you have a strong trend that has been predetermined into the New York session so let's talk a little bit more about futures and why futures has this unique opportunity well let's talk about this Stock market versus futures market, right? So you know that the stock market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time and closes at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Well, nothing new about that. Guess what? Futures market clo open close to 24 hours a day, six days a week. So take a day like Sunday, right? So we had a French election going on, the first, um, the, the, the first French election that was going on. The next one um, is going to be in May. And obviously, we're going to take advantage of that as well. So we're looking forward to that. So guess what, guys? Geopolitical events do not wait for the market to open. This happened on Sunday in the overnight session. The overnight session started to trade 6 p.m. Eastern time as the results were coming in from the French election. If you're a trader, you want to benefit from the opportunities that are coming in. Keep in mind, we had uh, we had Brexit. We had the U.S. election and we had all sorts of economic events and geopolitical events that were happening. I'm taking advantage of all those. I'm taking advantage of buying low. I, I was the one that bought Dow at 17,500 on, uh, on our election back in November. And I even tweeted this before I got into the position. OK, I even tweeted this before I got into the position because I always love to communicate with my clients before and never after the fact. I just hate those after the fact calls. So geopolitical events do not wait for the market to open because guess what, guys? Events happen. So guess what? If you're a futures trader, you get to your computer, you know your levels of support, your resistance. And please remember, there are seven layers of support resistance. And then guess what? You're trading it you're trading it so many markets that affect the u.s market trade outside of the u.s market hours so you have your game plan already already in place and already in motion and you can already make money as these events are happening so don't wait for the market to open to place the trade because guess what if you would have came into the market on monday you've just seen a gap up OK, it's very hard to trade a gap up in the market, in the stock market, especially when you're trading the Qs or the spies. It's not so hard if you got in before uh, if, if you got in before uh, the market open and benefited from that gap up that happened in the stock market. So futures traders can react as the events unfold. And that's one of the greatest advantage of futures trading. And that's fast money. So literally, you don't have to be glued to your computer in order to, to trade. So don't think that if, if I'm watching the Asian market, if I'm watching um, the European market, you know what? I, I am not glued to the computer. I'm, I'm looking at the market on my cell phone or on my tablet and I'm on the go. I could be in my car and I could look. I could be shopping uh, at Costco for groceries and I could look at my phone and I could see where the market is. Because guess what? I place alerts. I place entries in advance. I can do that from uh, uh, from home or on the go because I know those levels. I set the targets and I have my trades on autopilot and everybody knows that. Everybody that took my class knows that and they are very profitable trader and they are on glued, on uh, chained to the computer. So where would you rather be? On the sidelines waiting for the market to open to trade, uh, let's say to trade the stock market or do you want to trade the futures market okay which is literally around the clock so all in all my purpose and my goal in life was to make my money work for me and not myself work for my money so in that respect i want to trade smart and not hard um and also let's talk a little bit about account sizes okay because account sizes are very very important when it comes to trading okay so we're talking about account size so let's take, for instance, stock market versus 
uh, versus the futures market. Well, one of the reasons a lot of traders gravitate towards the futures market is the relatively startup cost. So for example, it usually requires about $30,000 to open a stock day trading account, and you must maintain at least $25,000 to keep your day trading status. But for futures, uh, the futures market allows you to open an account for as little as $5,000 and best of all, you do not have to maintain that amount. So as long as you have sufficient cash in your account to cover the margin requirements to trade that commodity or to trade that indice, you could actually have a smaller balance in your account and still trade futures. So I think that's a great advantage. And I'm going to share with you some of the results from derived from a $5,000 account. Uh, so if you lose money, guys, you can make money. So remember one thing, there's always someone on the other side of the trade that took the money away from you. Okay, so being on the right side of the trade is the most important thing. Always trade in the direction of the trade. Don't be one of those counter trend traders because you're going to get kicked. Uh, and having the knowledge to be on the right side of the trade, what it takes to be on the right side of the trade. Futures market involves leverage. Leverage is not necessarily dangerous if you know how to use it. Trading futures is all about using leverage and leverage allows smaller accounts to participate more easily using a cash account to buy stocks with. And I'm gonna share with you the results. If the actual value of the futures contracts you're trading is worth approximately, let's say $80,000, guess what? You only need about $5,000 to manage positions that control the $80,000. So here's a quick example for you guys. If a trader wants to day trade, for instance, the Qs, let's say hypothetically they're priced at $117. Um, the trader needs over $5,800 to buy only 100 shares. And if the price goes up 50 cents, you only profit 50 bucks because each cent is $1. But if a trader, let's say, wants to trade the e mini NASDAQ, let's say hypothetically priced at 48.20, the trader only needs $4,400, a little over $4,400 to buy one contract. So if the price goes up 50 points, you profit $1,000. So you can see the difference right here, $1,000 to $50. And I'm gonna share with you some charts so you can uh, so you could have a better understanding because each point in NASDAQ is $20. So let's take a look at these charts over here. So here's two side-by-side -side charts. This is the side of the Qs, the ETF, and this is the NASDAQ. Na, uh, the, uh, Na, uh, NASDAQ in mini. So these are NQ, the, these are futures. So you can take a look at the chart right off the bat. You could see moving average crossing price over here, moving higher, and then going lower. Same moving average over here, the 20 period moving average, moving higher, and then moving lower. Look at these two pivots, one pivot here, one pivot here, one pivot here, one pivot here. Two spikes to the upside, two spikes to the upside, price bubble, new high, price bubble, new high, and then uh, collapse, collapse over here. So you can see 200 moving average, by the way, this is the 200 moving average that I'm using right here. And as you can see right off the bat, I'm not using a lot of indicators because guess what, guys? The only true indicator and the, uh, the only right indicator that you should use is price. Price is the only one, the only indicator that is never gonna lie to you where price is located and where price is located in comparison to some elements that are on the charts. That is the most, uh, that is the most important thing uh, that you need, to, uh, that you need to, to focus on. So let's take a look at these charts, two charts, almost identical, the Qs and NQ. So you can see right here that we're using the same buying power for a price movement from this, and we're using the same strategy. This was a peak into resistance. There was a breakdown over here happening. So we apply the same strategy that we use in stocks. So you could very well see that if we take the same breakdown that we took in the Qs and the spice, and we cover the shorts in the same location, for a dollar seven, uh, this is a dollar point forty seven move in Qs, and this would have generated one hundred forty seven dollars with hundred shares. That's not bad, but this is using five thousand dollars in buying power. Versus, if you're using the same strategy that we teach for the Nasdaq, so it's same strategy that we use for the ETF for the Qs, right? Same strategy that we use. We're moving with the follow through to the downside. We cover the shorts at the same location. We generate a 70 points. That is $1,400 with only one contract. Same buying power. So would you rather, you know, you got to take a step back and say, okay, so what's going on here? What's the catch? 
No, there's no catch guys. It's knowing how to trade because where, when you're trading futures, there's a very little margin for error. Okay. Trading stocks a little bit more generous because you can go after them and you can actually position size. But when you're trading futures, you must really know what you're doing. But literally using the same buying power, would you rather make $147 on the same move within two hours or would you rather make $1,400? Okay, and I guess you can answer that. All right, so stocks versus futures once again. So what are the pros and what are the cons? But literally, I don't see a lot of cons in trading futures. I only see the pros and I'm gonna share with you some of the pros right here. Well. When you're trading stocks, you need a large account size. You saw that $25,000 is the minimum uh, that you are required, but you really need to have $30,000 in your account because guess what? If you lose one penny below $25,000, you're, uh, you're not allowed to day trade anymore. You can only swing trade. So you're done with day, your day trading career uh, is over, not unless you fund more money. Um, and you need large account, large position moves to make money. Also, you need more charts. And more charts, you know, that means less focus, right? Because you're scanning, you're scanning, you're going through multiple charts just to find a trade that you just to find a trade that you can take. Versus futures, where you can trade with a small account size, starting with five thousand dollars, you have. And believe me when I tell you this, that there are brokers that can accept accounts even with three thousand uh, dollars to open an account with. Uh, you need greater leverage. You you literally have greater leverage than you have trading stocks. You need smaller position moves. Guys. You only need about 20 points to make really good money into a trade. Uh, you have minimal charts. Like I said, I'm going to share with you. I only watch six charts. You have more focus because you're only focused and you're not uh, toggling along into uh, charts and you're not looking everywhere. You just you have one screen with those six charts and that's pretty much it. You take a short position on more easily. Why is that important? Well, guess what? You know, it, when I was trading stocks, you know, I was scanning, 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 finally found a stock that I would, I would want to short. I put it on a computer and I've neglected to look whether it is easy to borrow or not. And when I hit the button to just short it, it was not available to short. So all that work into doing the analysis, you know, uh, looking for the entry to stop the target, et cetera, gone out the window because I couldn't short it. No problem here. You can go long and short with ease. You have central clearing, reliable volume data. It's great for hedging. No earnings. You don't have to worry about earnings. Better commissions. No scanner. So no other cost. No indicators. No sophisticated indicators. Nothing to buy. Nothing to purchase. And no uptick rule for short positions. For those of you that are uh, that are day traders, know what I'm talking about. Day trade stock day traders. So you could literally trade both sides of the coin, short and long. And these are the charts that I'm trading. So I'm only trading the E-mini Dow, the S&P 500, Nasdaq. I'm trading gold oil and bonds and literally my go-to charts are these three and these charts i took from uh, uh from today's trading so i this is today's price action as you can see i was talking about relative weakness and i was talking about divergent market uh, looking at nq that is trying to hold this key area right here all right, so tax advantages, lower effective tax advantages, simplify reporting on your tax return. Guess what, guys? That means that you're not going to have to pay an accountant to do your taxes at the end of the year because uh, your broker is going to provide you with a 1099B form that you're literally going to submit. And that's all there is. Uh, tax advantages, for those of you that want to find out more, you can actually uh, browse, you could actually uh, uh, Google it. Um, uh, search for it. Uh, it also, uh, uh, the 60-40 rule applies and a full-time futures trader may have additional tax benefits with the uh, trader tax status from the IRS, such as myself. So I can deduct anything that I do, anything, uh, uh, my office, everything. So it's, it, it is my trading business. Low commissions. Commissions on futures are very low, less than half the price than trading stocks. And I think that's one of the best advantages. Small account challenge. Let's talk about real results, how you you don't need a lot of money to make a lot of money as a trader. So if you have the right tools and literally if you know what to do. So January results with a $5,000 account. This is, so this is trading a small account, $5,000 account, realized profits, 2,709. These are all the trades that were taken into our program with our students. 
Uh, February results, $2,025 uh, in profit with a 5K account. So keep in mind, I'm gonna go back to January. So now your $5,000 account, it's not a $5,000 account anymore because your account right now is, uh, is 7,703, uh, 7, okay? Add another 2,000. So your account is close to $10,000 right now. You closed and doubled in February closed and doubled in February with the results and only trading two hours a day. And that is only if you take only my trades, but you could literally trade more than that. You could actually double these results if you want to trade more. If you want to trade, let's say the afternoon, if you want to trade the London session, or if you want to trade the, uh, the Asian session, March, we're not afraid to show you guys in March. We had a first losing month. This, this is literally my first losing month. And I think over four years, and I'm not kidding you guys. Uh, we lost $782 on this, but this is nothing compared to the wins that we had in January and February. Right. Okay. So this also puts us over that of uh, that doubling the account. Month of April, today was the last trading day of April, and I guess it's the last trading day in April, is uh, April uh, 28th, and Monday is May 1st, so we're starting a new chapter. Uh, April, we ended the month today, $2,005. So you can see these are the amount of trades that we took for the month of April. Not a lot of trading days um, that we had in April with a holiday and everything, but guess what? Guess what? It all adds up, guys. Year to date, $5,948 profit on a $5,000 account. At that $5,000 account, your account is now close to $11,000. Close to $11,000. So if you have started the program with me in January, right now you would have more than doubled your account. More than doubled your account. Trading only two hours a day. That's it from 9 to 11. Average risk per trade. Everybody's asking. Average risk per trade is $100. Year to date, if you had a larger account, a $15,000 account, if you had a $15,000 account trading two hours a day with a position size of $300 risk per trade, you would have right now close to $15,000. So guess what? 15 and 15, that's $30,000 in your account. And guess what that means? With a $30,000 account, you can risk $600 per trade. So next month, you can, you can, uh, you can double that. Okay, you can double that in your next quarter. I'm sorry, in your next quarter, you could double that. Listen, guys, you need to start somewhere. Everybody has a different account size, whether it's small, medium, or large. So whatever your account size is, you can build it up with futures. These are real results from my trading education for my students. These are no gimmicks or the trading results are transparent and all these trades were communicated before they happened. Like I said, I usually communicate the trade to my traders at least five to two minutes before the trigger with entry, stop, targets, et cetera. So with whatever your account size is, literally build it up with futures, whether you wanna create income, supplement your income, or create wealth. Realistic results for futures, it's guys, it's real math and these are real results. Double every quarter and this is our goal and this is how I got where I am right now. And I wouldn't be here if they if, if my results wouldn't speak from themselves. All right. So I, if you start your account with uh, five thousand dollars in twelve months, you can have twenty five thousand dollars. Start your account with fifteen k, you can have sixty sixty thousand by the end of the year, uh, not by the end of the year, but in twelve months. Start with thirty thousand, have one hundred twenty thousand by the end of the year. And guess what? You add this twenty five thousand with five thousand, you have twenty thousand at the end of the year. 30,000 with 120, you have 150,000 by the end of the year. You don't need to trade futures with a $150,000 account. You could trade it with, uh, you could trade it max with a $60,000 account and you can generate an easy living and build your retirement account. But you have to know what you're doing. No education, you're gonna keep on funding the account. You're gonna pump up $5,000 every month on and on and on and on until you lose the money and then you go back and fund it again. You lose the money, you go fund it back again. So you're literally pumping money into that account. I have had traders that have literally lost close to thirty-five, forty thousand dollars in their uh, in their trading because they didn't know what they were doing. They paid a small price to know how they trade, and now they're building back their accounts. Uh, money will be working for you. You will no longer work for your money, and you will still be working to keep funding the account if you don't have the proper tools to get there. 
Uh, focus this week was NQ. We had a several trades in uh, an NQ this week. So this is just to show you how focused we are. So we had NQ and CL that were on major focus. Um, uh, and these were our, and actually we didn't have any losses this week. Uh, like I said, we trade at specific times and specific price zones. Uh, these are real results that uh, from our uh, from our from our trading. You can see here we we're trading NQ, we're trading oil, we're trading NQ again, we're trading YM, and these are the results. Um, we're trading silver. We had a trade in silver. Actually, we had a swing trade in silver. Um, we're trading Nasdaq again. We're trading CL again here. Uh, we, we had a dollar index here in one of the trading labs. We had a Russell trade here uh, with one contract, 160 bucks. Uh, we had the S&P, 150 bucks. And when all it comes to trading, it's like small wins and big wins. They all add up. Uh, you don't have to go for the home runs. Small wins are fine. $150 is fine. You know, even, even losing trades. Okay, uh, losing trades have to be very, very small. Take a look here, CL, um, uh, one contract, $600. There are areas where you can literally go for home runs. So you need to learn how to trade with the big sharks because institutions are the big sharks. I've been there, I am an institution, so I know where the big sharks um, are, uh, are, um, are striking. Traders need to learn to swim along with them and don't fear them. Don't fear algos and don't bash algos. It's great to trade on the side of the algos. Institutional sharks see your order and have them for breakfast. They even see your sell, uh, sell orders. They even see where you have your stop losses. And they eat you for lunch, for dinner, or for breakfast. Institutional money create the current that moves the market, the big waves, the buys and the sells, and we need to trade with the wave. Experienced traders have no fear when they get in the market, they trade less and they make more. So it's lunchtime out there in the futures market and would you rather dine or be served as the main course? Like I said, we have precise hours when we strike, precise path, uh, price patterns when we act upon and we leave nothing to chance. Losing trade, like I said, we have no problem showing you guys losing trades. All in all is that our portfolio is really in the deep green and we, it has been like that for years and years and years and years and years for the last 15 to 20 years. Uh, and I'm not kidding you guys, we have records that go way, way back. Uh, GC, okay here, remember remember this one? This was on the same day, we lost $300. Oh, we have a revenge trade and we had something up our sleeve and we have $500, uh, $590. So these are some testimonials from our traders, some traders that these are their results. So what do you need to get started all in all? You need to have a good trading system. We offer a live class, we offer the course book, uh, we offer the on-demand recordings, unlimited live retakes every month. You get to trade with us for 30 days and then you have the option to continue with us. We offer you trading plans for all our strategies. We offer daily market analysis videos, uh, unlimited support through your learning process and that is unlimited. It's not limited to the period of time that you take the class, no, it's unlimited. So you have access to me at all times. The Power Income Day Trading of Futures class is a six-day event from my, uh, May 22nd to the 26th. It's from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and it is on May 30th. We have a trading lab from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. that is going to give you, get you in gear to know uh, what we're looking at and to put everything from the manual together within those two hours of live trading with me. Um, and we have two options here. The best value is $4,995. It is a one-time course that you're never gonna need anything again. And we also offer a flex pay. These are the conditions for the flex pay. Guys, if you're interested in the class, these are going fast. We also have very small classes because we wanna manage all our students and we wanna have, we wanna give them and offer them our undivided attention. So we don't take hundreds of students. We only take about 10 to 15 students at a time. So seats are flying up fast. If you wanna contact me, you can reach me at info at tradeoutloud.com. More than happy to talk to you about the class curriculum, more details about the class, more details about the trades. If you want to have access to our trading records, more than happy to share you uh, with you the link and any trading questions that you may have, more than happy to share with you. So I know the time is out. And if you have, guys have any questions, any, any trading related question, info at tradeoutloud.com.